Reacting masses is one of those chemical calculations that's a lot easier than it actually seems. By the end of this video, I'll be able to show you how you can simplify this by just using that one equation triangle we saw in the last video. On this video of Uncle Jerks, you're definitely going to need a calculator and something to write down with because the calculations, as I said, it does seem difficult at first. When it clicks in your mind, it's very, very simple. Let me first start by laying out some logic based on the last few videos that we've done in this series. Here is a simple balanced equation and it just doesn't only tell us what's happening in the chemical reaction, it actually also has a secret calculation underneath it. To help you see what's going on here, let's draw what the atoms and particles in the substances would look like. We've got two moles of hydrogen. So hydrogen H2 means that we've got two atoms of hydrogen bonded together. But because we've got two moles of that, we have to times that molecule by two. We've got one mole of oxygen. And oxygen is a molecule that travels around in pairs. So we've got O2, we've got two oxygens joined together. And that gives us two moles of water, which is two water molecules, H2O. And we can see that this equation is balanced because we've got an equal number of particles on the left and on the right hand side. We've got four atoms of hydrogen on the left and on the right, and we've got two atoms of oxygen on the left and right as well. And when we look up these two elements on the periodic table, we see these two entries. The RAM, the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, and the RAM, the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. This means that the total mass of hydrogen we have on the reactant side is 1 times 4. The RAM, which is 1, times the 4 particles we have, which is 4. So that gives us 4. We can write that at the bottom. Doing the same for oxygen, which has a RAM of 16, yeah, so that's 2 times 16, which gives us 32. And water, H2O, has a relative formula mass of 18, but we've got two moles of that. So 18 times 2, that gives us 36. So that hidden calculation I was talking about earlier means that if we react 4 grams of hydrogen with 32 grams of oxygen, we should produce 36 grams of water. And the whole concept of reacting masses is that you will be given a certain amount of mass of a particular substance and you're going to be asked how much mass of another substance will be produced or would it take to make that grams that we were given in the question. That seems like gibberish, so let's look at a question. And in this question, it's asking us to calculate the mass of oxygen that is needed to react with hydrogen to produce 45 grams of water. And this method that I'm going to show you is, from what I know, the simplest way of working this out. Get your pen or pencil ready and have something to write with and also have a calculator next to you so you can follow the steps as I go through this. So first start off by writing out the balanced equation, but in your exams, you will have the balanced equation there, if they've balanced it for you anyway. You're going to write down the relative formula masses of each substance at the bottom, but also take into consideration the moles that you have. So usually the relative formula mass of hydrogen will be two, but because we've got two moles of hydrogen, we do two times two, which gives us four. So write out the relative formula masses, the molar mass at the bottom of each of your substance. Now, this is the trickiest part of this whole calculation, actually reading and understanding the question. This is where I recommend using a highlighter. The question is telling us that we want to produce 45 grams of water. Now that 45, we highlight it, and because it's water, we want to make sure we don't place it above any other substance. So write the 45 above the water, which has the molar mass of 36. Hopefully you're seeing where I'm going with this. Look at the equation triangle again, look at the color scheme, and try and figure out what we're going to do. We've got the mass of water and we've got the molar mass of water. So we can work out the moles of water. So that'll be your 45 over your 36, which gives you 1.25 moles of water. But we're not done. Remember, the question is asking us how much is the mass of oxygen that is needed to produce this 45 grams of water. And looking at the equation, mass is moles times molar mass. 
So to work out the mass of oxygen that we need to react with hydrogen to produce 45 grams of water, what we're going to do is that we're going to take the moles that we just worked out, which is 1.25 moles, and we times that by the molar mass of the oxygen in this equation, which is 32. Then when we multiply those together, we'll get 40 grams of oxygen. This means that we have to react 40 grams of oxygen in order to produce 45 grams of water. Hopefully you wrote all of that down because now you're going to use that worked example to work out a calculation all by yourself. Now let's see this calculation. We've got carbon reacting with oxygen to give us carbon dioxide. Writing the relative formula masses below, we've got 12 grams of carbon reacting with 32 grams of oxygen to produce 44 grams of carbon dioxide. The question I'd like you to answer is this one here. Calculate the mass of carbon dioxide that will be produced if you react 24 grams of carbon completely with oxygen. Remember, the first step is to work out the moles of the substance that we have the mass for in the question. We've got 24 grams of carbon. So that means that the 24 is going to go above the carbon. And then we do the calculations the way we see it. So that's the 24 divided by the 12. That's the mass divided by the molar mass, which will give us two moles of carbon. And remembering from the question, we're trying to work out the mass of carbon dioxide produced. Mass is moles times molar mass, which means that the two moles that we worked out in the previous example, we multiply that by the molar mass of carbon dioxide, which is 44. This means that we have 88 grams of carbon dioxide produced when we react 24 grams of carbon completely with oxygen. And that is it. Just some key things that I'll recommend you doing to make sure it is that simple. Highlight the numbers you're given. Here we were given 24 grams of carbon. So highlight 24 grams and make sure you highlight the carbon as well so you know what that 24 grams is of. And write the relative formula masses, relative atomic masses or molar masses, whatever you want to call it, at the bottom of the balanced chemical equation. If you have to balance the chemical equation, obviously do that, but write them at the bottom and memorize this equation triangle so you know that your moles is your mass over your molar mass and you know that the mass is the moles times the MR. The more you practice these equations, the easier they become. So like and subscribe if you found that useful. Comment below if you're confused by anything and I'll catch you guys next week. <laughs>